Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a Pixelmator tutorial on how to create this background, which kind of looks like the Aurora Borealis that comes with your Mac, but of course not as professional looking, but it still looks pretty cool. Now it might take you a couple tries to get it to look exactly how this looks, but you should catch on pretty quickly. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start with a template that is the resolution of your screen. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your first layer and fill it with the color black. So just hit your fill tool and then fill it with the color black. So you want it black. Now fill, click on the layer and fill it black. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to add a new layer. So now you have a brand new layer. Now you're going to make a gradient. So click on your gradient tool, which is right over here, and make sure it's selected on the rainbow color. And you're going to drag down from around about here to about there. So you get mostly all the colors in. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your lasso tool and just free draw a wavy image like this. Now you want to make sure that you get all the colors in and you don't want it too small but at the same time you don't want it too big. Alright, so now if we were to just connect this, now you see we have the image and now we're going to go to edit, inverse. And then after we inverse we're going to hit delete. So now you see we have that so let's just click out of that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go to filter, blur, box and we are going to blur the edges to about four just so it gives it a little blur then we're going to go to filter stylize pointalize and so now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag it to about three so there are little spaces in between all right once you got that then you're going to want to go to filter, z blur, and then you're going to want to go to zoom. And then you're going to want to drag the point of zoom to right below your image, and then you're going to want to zoom it. So now you see we have that. Now what I think that we could do to make this better is hit cancel, select this and move it up a little so it's not so low. Now we can go back to filter, blur, zoom, and drag it right below the image. And now let's see how it looks. So there. Now you can see that's what we have. Now of course that does not look as good as this one, but I'll show you why. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add another layer and now you are going to want to make stars. So how you're going to do that is you're going to take your pen tool and you're going to click on the second smallest size and just click a couple stars. Now of course you're going to want the color to be white. Okay. Here we go. Let's click on the wrong one. Alright, so now you're going to want it to be white and you're going to just make a few dots on the black just so they look like stars and then you're going to want to make some over here now of course you're saying this doesn't look anything like the one that you have I'm going to show you how to make it look like the one I have alright so now what you're going to have to do is you're going to scroll down your layers and you're going to click on the one that has your um, lasso tool free drawn image. Now when you click on blending you're going to want to put it on hard light. So now you see that's what it looks like. That looks much better than it did before and it just looks, now it looks almost like the one I have but of course I went much faster on this one than I did with that one. That one took me a couple tries to get, but once you guys get the hang of it, you should be doing pretty good. So, thank you guys for watching this Pixelmator tutorial. 
And just really quick, if you want to set this as your background image, you go to File, Export, and then you drag it to a Pictures folder, and then you can set it as your background through the System Preference pane. So thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.